Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here today to celebrate Apex Legends Season 8 launch, uh, a couple of days into it, of course. I wanted to go over my Apex Legend player card, uh, collection, uh, showcase, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start off really quickly with my achievements since I'm on Xbox, and I have been playing this game since the literal first day that it came out. February 4th, 2019 is when I got my first achievement, and I popped a couple of them. And yeah, I, I've been playing this game for quite some time. I completed it within the month of it coming out and honestly dude apex legends has soared to be one of my favorite games of all time and that's saying something because i usually don't pick favorites and it's a battle royale but i love this game i can play this game constantly i, I you know i've had some rough patches going through i've had some rough patches with certain map changes and going into like i didn't i don't like olympus that much but uh, gibraltar doesn't like olympus apparently either but we're gonna go into it uh, basically i'm only level 296 which is not that high considering when the game launched you could only only get to level 100 and then you were capped so i put so many hours into this game after hitting that level cap that just never got leveled and tracked obviously so if i'm going to go into apex right here i'm going to look at my time played and my stats first of all i have 31 days in apex which matches my playtime in modern warfare 2 31 days i believe surpasses my destiny 1 playtime which is crazy. So, and that's even if that tracks properly. I don't know what the tracking is exactly, but still, that is a full month of my life straight playing this game. I love it. So, I should be a higher level than 296 simply for the fact that I probably leveled 70, 80 times easy after, uh, or rather, before they implemented the level increase to 500, which I wish they would increase that even further because I don't like seeing players level 500. I feel bad because they can't level anymore. I hope they do increase that and I hope they do retroactively give us levels based on the amount of xp we have earned anyway without with that being said let's go ahead and track gibby's talking let's go ahead and go over my stats so my account stats when they actually started tracking stats is lifetime games 3.76 thousand 273 wins 593 top five there's a lot of games it's a battle royale where you drop in there and you die pretty much instantly and you know apex is no exception for me I've done just shy of 2 million damage. My highest is 2845. Average is 475 damage a game. And I am an average player. I'm not that kind of person that drops 4,000 damage a game whenever they do really well. If I do 2,000 damage, I, that's a good game for me. 5,368 kills with 3,600 deaths with a 1.45 kill death ratio. That's better than my KD in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. My highest amount of kills is 13, which I don't believe i'm pretty sure i got to like a 16 kill game but i don't think it tracked right i'm pretty sure i have 6700 knocks 1200 assists 1200 revives 162 respawns because i usually play by myself and then two people tend to quit when they die longest win streak is only three that's that's i mean still that's pretty decent um and i, I didn't really play all of the seasons i definitely yeah because we don't even have what season one isn't even in here for tracking so and that was i mastered season one so we're not going to go through individual seasons right now but so far for season eight i have 76 games five wins and 21 top fives with 90 kills 1.15 kd i'm very much enjoying myself in season eight so now let's go over um let's go to the loadout and check out different guns because legends is going to take a little bit longer to get through with all these skins and stuff so let's go over here to the havoc i only have when it comes to gold we're going to look at um season skins um, unique unlock skins and gold skins. I had the Silver Storm, which was what season one, getting to rank 100 in the Battle Pass. I did not get the gold one. I didn't have time to do it. Um, I also have, and I'm not going to remember what each individual uh, logo was, where it was from. So I'm just going to kind of click on them and highlight you guys and see what they are. Most of these aren't that great, especially patchwork. It looks like something. It looks like the rug to an RV. It's terrible. Um, Flatline, we have uh, Chooser of the Slain, which is Lifeline skin you get for buying that. I love the muzzle on this gun. I have so many Flatline skins, and honestly, I don't like most of them. I mean, the Lowrider is probably one of my favorites, but they're honestly not that great. The Chain Beast, I just unlocked that for the season for the Battle Pass. Uh, we have uh, the, oh yeah, Ancient Predator. That's, that's right, I forgot about that. I'm going to put that one on. I like that one. And we obviously, we have like the Season 1, we have other Seasonal skins in here nothing too impressive we have cold justice over here for the g7 the crimson fire drake which is beautiful but generally i run 
Um, some of these special ones down here. I like I like the uh, G7's animated like blue tier skins that they have. I like the Wolf Pack. That one's a cool one. I usually I think I usually run yeah I usually run the Wolf Pack whenever I play the G7, but I'm not running right now. Hemlock don't really have that many good skins for the Hemlock. We have fluid mechanics and we have retrofitted and then we have the glorious one, which is a cool skin. But I don't know. It's just the Hemlock has never really resonated for me outside of like season one or season two. Just I just never really cared that much. I like that skin though. That one's cool. I just never cared much for the Hemlock. I know it's really strong. I resonate with the R301. I'm running the Iron Rampage right now, uh, but I have almost every of the standard. They're called legendaries. I call them epic or just gold. Unsheathed Rebellion. That one's sick. I usually either run the Iron Rampage. Or my Honored Prey, which is a Season 1 skin. I love this skin so much. It is beautiful. And we have Harvest, which is the skin I ran before I got a gold tier. Jet Set. I like that one because it, it looks like bone on the undergrip right there. Now the 3030 Repeater just came out this season. I bought the Sleek Unique because I had like 1,400 crafting materials. Outside of that, we have obviously Pedal Power and I have digital after image which is nothing we're not going to go through all the charms because honestly who cares about charms when it comes to the underrated alternator we have the galvanizer molten forge and then obviously the seasonal ones right here that we really don't care about prowler one of my favorite guns of the game i have the final judgment here we have the light worker wrath bringer polished perfection which is cool but not my style thrill of the hunt which just has like the little kunai's flying which is sick and then all of these seasonal ones the jet black one right there all right r99 the magnum opus i fucking love this gun dude look at that i will not run anything else and then i have the rule of law which is the one that i did buy with my uh, oh yeah the alchemist is one before the magnum opus I did buy one with my crafting materials carbon cross glacier shredder stalagmite and harvest then we have the vault i got the dream weaver it's the one that stood out to me the most but honestly i kind of wish that i got either the luxury finish or the fortune teller i like the red and gold skins in this game there's something about them my favorite skin or one of my favorite skins in this game is the devotions nocturnal elegance right here you i don't know how you can even compete with this like that is just dracula gothic beautiful i love that skin so fucking much and then obviously we have all these, which I'm not going to go over those unless they are super unique. L-Star, the most underused gun of anybody. And I only have this Trial by Fire and then whatever season ones we have right here that nobody cares about. The Spitfire, the gun that I've got pretty much every gold skin for except for Original Marauder. We have the Intimidator that I'm running right now because I haven't used it in a little while. And I think it's kind of rare at this point. Flying Warhawk, the Continuum... Con Continuum... Continuum, Heavy Construct, uh, Ground Control, the Superconductor, Child's Play, Metal Maw. Usually I run Bad Mojo. I don't know. I just, I like this skin. It's that voodoo green and brown. It's really cool. Team Dynamics, which is for this season, I believe. And then all of these in here, which again, we don't care about. Moving down to the Sniper Rifles, we have uh, Elegant Experiment for the Charge Rifle. Honestly, it's okay, but I kind of wish I had something different. I got Stellar, apparently. All of these right here that, again, we don't care about. The Longbow. Oh, my God, dude. The Reckoner is just Diablo gorgeous. I mean, come on. Then we have the Big Game Hunter, which is what I was running before I got Reckoner and is what I'll usually run. I'll usually run, I think, either Hunter Exotica or Trailblazer just because I like the color schemes. Uh, moving down here, we have Pumpkin Parlor. And all of these in here. Yeah, yeah. Crabber. Right now I'm running Survival Instinct, but I think I'm going to switch it off to the Pioneer. Just because that I like that gold that's sick. Then we have Lifesaver, which Survival Instinct is a color scheme of the Lifesaver. Down here, all of these, yada, yada. Sentinel. I'm running Clean Shot right now. Just something nice about that white. And that's obviously a variant of Nightcore right here. And then we have Roll Cage from last season. Uh, that's Oh, that one's actually kind of, I like that. That's from this season. That's pretty cool. We have the triple take. I have been running the Tamed Beast since the moment I got it, and I have not switched it off. It just looks like too much like a Destiny gun, and I, I adore it so much. I honestly didn't even know I had the first strike. 
when did I get this? <laughs> I didn't know that I had this. I haven't switched it off, man. There's just something so clean about about my tamed beast. I love it. Shotguns. Moving down here to the Eva 8. I'm running Noble Truth. It's the only one I've got. I don't really get many Eva, Eva skins over here. I think I was running Molten Ignition before I got that. Mastiff. We got the Tomb Stick, which is, I believe, yeah, it's what pretty much everyone got pretty easily through the Lost Expedition, I believe is what it was called. Was that event? I don't remember. Before that, I was running one of, I think it was Molten I was running before. Mozambique, I'm running the Red Alert, just because I like the, the wood grip down there. We have Impulse Fire, which is nice. We have the Divinity, I like that one. And then Bittersweet, two variants of the two skins I have right here. Uh, then we have Daisy Cutter for this season, which is actually, that's pretty nice. I like that. Peacekeeper, I'm running the Superstar. It's the Neon Cowboy. And then I got the PAL 9000, the Pathfinder one. And what's Evolved Flow? I like that. That's cool. And then Poacher. All right. Uh, pistols. The Crown Jewel, which I've been running. I think my game just crashed or it froze. Oh, okay. I got booted back to the... Oh, my God. This game's... This game... I love this game so much. Okay, so Crown Jewel. I've been running this since I got it. It's really the only cool skin that I have. Otherwise, I have a lot of blues for this, apparently. Otherwise, I don't even know what I would have been using. Maybe this. Who knows? P20, Lady Justice. I've been using that since I got it way early in the beginning of the game. But other than that, I have Null Hypothesis, which just looks pretty standard. Still cool, but pretty standard. Uh, Wingman, I got a couple of skins for this. Got Precision Caliber I'm using right now. We have The Death Ray, which is one of the... Actually, I don't know where that one's from. Attention to Detail, right there. Oh, that was the end of a season. That was like season six or something like that. Five or six. Yeah, I don't, something like that. All right, and that's it for gun skins. Let's go ahead to Legends. We got Bloodhound over here, and I will click on each Legend, show you their skins, and then show you their brief stats that I have for them. So right now, I'm running Polished. It's just a blue skin, but I do have the Rune Keeper, which is what I used to run. We have the Intimidator, which is the one you purchase. And we have Road Warrior, uh, Master of the Hunt, Gilded Claw, and Arctic Hunter. Those are all the ones that stand out. And then if I come over here, we're going to go hit trackers. And I have 294 kills with Bloodhound. I'm basically just going to be showing you the kills with the character. But these are the stats. Actually, how many times have I won with Bloodhound? Is there not a... Is there not a total wins counter? There should be for each character. Then we have Gibby, who right now I'm trying to get the 500 kills with. I'm running Dark Side, but we do have Ride or Die... Millennium Tusk, which has some actually has some uh, lore right there. We have Gilded and Gatekeeper for this season. And then moving over here, we have 431 kills with Gibby. I'm trying to, like I said, trying to get to 500 for him. Lifeline, somebody I, I did main for a while because I actually uh, have a I have her heirloom. I bought her heirloom because I was going to get Wraith Kunai, but my brother Dylan wants to get Wraith Kunai because he is a Wraith main. So we have London Calling skin. We have the Guardian Angel skin, which honestly I don't like. Kind of looks like Halle Berry a little bit, but you know, whatever. Um, then we have Revolutionary from Season 1, which honestly is not that bad of a skin, but it just doesn't stand out too much. I have 762 kills with Lifeline, and again right here we have her heirloom. I'm not going to you know, go over that, but yeah, 44 wins with her. Not bad. My old original main Pathfinder. I was a Pathfinder main at the beginning of this game. We have, uh, I'm running the Quicksilver. We have the Model 1, or sorry, Model P, which is just literally rusted. We have Iced Out, Full Throttle, uh, Dreadnought glistened which honestly his skins are okay but they just don't stand out that much like the ones that are just like gold colors and stuff are fine but they just don't stand out i have 1300 kills with pathfinder and i have 42 wins in season one with him apparently how many times have i actually won i want to know how many wins i have with pathfinder wins with full squad active 65 all right, then we're going to go over here to Wraith. Wraith has one of my favorite character skins in the game from Season 1. This is Night Terror. It's just, this is just, I mean, look at that, dude. Look at that. You can't beat that. We have Liberator, Vengeance Seeker, Quarantine 722. We have High Class, Silver Spectre, and Survivor from Season 1. 300 kills with Wraith. Not that many, honestly. But that's fine. 
I don't. I only usually run Wraith and solos. Then we have Bangalore. <laughs> mm, Bangalore. We have Officer Williams. Apex Overdrive that looks awful. <laughs> Sky Marshal. Viceroy. Scroll down here. We have Valor and Victory Lap. Move over here to the banners. We have 290 kills with Bangalore. I thought I had more than that. Caustic, one of my favorite characters to main. I love Caustic. We have Barrel of Laughs. Prince of Darkness, the sickest skin in this game. We have Freezer Burn, which I love, but it stands out. Like, you literally glow in the game. So you stand out like a sore thumb. We have if exactly 500 kills with Caustic. I hit 500 kills with him last night and then switched to Gibby. Move over here to Mirage. Somebody I've actually been getting into using because I do decent with Mirage. Like, I actually have pretty good games with Mirage, which is weird. I'm running Fancy Schmanchy right now. We have The Prestige. Fool's Gold, Outlaw, Fired Up, and Stunt Double. Move over here. We have 268 kills with Mirage. Uh, sorry, 268 headshots, 196 kills. I thought that sounded high. Octane. Octane. I don't usually play Octane that much, honestly. We have Sonic Boom, The Victory Lap, Jade Tiger, Wildfire. I love this skin. Messenger, Glacial Pace, and then Hit and Run. We have 209 kills with Octane. I don't remember getting 209 kills with Octane. Watson's a character that I absolutely adore. She's the cutiest patootiest ever. Yeah, I just said that. You can quote me. And I, I, don't know, I love her. She has some really cool skin. So I love her wired for speed. I just love how smooth and clean and, I don't know, just... It's just cool. I don't know what it is. We have Strange Attractor, which I would like a lot more. I would like this skin a lot more if her head wasn't a fucking egg. Uh, then Ruby Jewels. Down here we have Hot Rod. And that's it for that. I have 311 kills with Watson. I do like playing Watson. I really do. But I have a hard time getting a good team dynamic with her. Crypto. One of my... Probably, I think, my least played legend outside of the new ones. We have Seeker of Knowledge. The Hired Gun, which is just fucking nice. The Masked Dancer, and then Totemic Might. Go down. I don't have any seasonal skins right there. Uh, 21 kills. 21 kills with him. Uh, he's not bad. I just He just doesn't. He's not my style. Revenant. I love me some Revenant. We have Bird of Prey, The Afterlife, uh, Teal Torment, and Death Etching. 390 kills with Revenant. Um, Loba. Don't play Loba very much. We have Gold Standard, Off the Record, Boundless Envy, and Huntswoman. I have eight kills with Loba. <laughs> yeah. Rampart. I absolutely, dude, Rampart was one of my favorite legends when she came out. I love playing Rampart. I have such a good time. She's such a cheap fuck. We have Premium Finish and Cascade. That's it. Uh, Skyward. 187 kills. Not that many, but I have a lot of good games with her. Move over here to Horizon. Dude, that skin, man. That skin. What the fuck? Wraith should have that skin, too. That's Dark Matter. Um, then we have Copper Constellation, which actually, really cool. Um, two <laughs> Okay, she's my least played legend. Two kills. Um, Fuse. Just came out. Don't have that much going on with it right now. I have the Art of War skin, and that's really it. And then I have 16 kills with Fuse. And that... That's my Apex Legends profile as of right now. I'm only, um... What am I, 11 levels into the Battle Pass right now? So, I've been playing, but... It's only been out for a couple days, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want me to do an update on this sometime in the future, I can. Uh, leave a like if you did. Enjoy from... Uh, fuck. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Come follow me on twitch.tv slash agelinkin where I do stream Apex Legends, especially when a new season comes out. It's pretty much all I switch to streaming. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.